careful. That is the business we're in. Yeah, I know it is, Steve. And my business is to help them do what's right. Let's just focus on one thing at a time. By uh, eight or nine years old, almost inevitably their faces have shut off, become uh, uh, blank or impassive. Why, uh, why is that, Dr. Coles? Because they already know how it's going to be for them, how they're going to be trapped, like their parents were trapped, or, or like everyone else around them. They've become aware of life's cruelties. And when that happens to a child, we see reading levels drop off dramatically, we see a great drop in attention span, and uh, learning becomes extremely difficult. Uh, and certainly there are no easy solutions. Can you hold that, sir? I'm sorry, Senator, can you look over here, please, sir? Can we just back to that last right. No, 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 that's no, okay. it, that's it. We're done, okay? Give the Senator a little privacy. Hey, guys, guys, back up. What is this, the uh, guilt of the uh, patrician class? Look at this place, Chad. Look at the way these people live. So what are you going to do about it? Sell the house and the boat? Move to Bedford-Stuyvesant? That's one the kids would really appreciate that. You wrote it on that paper. You circled it. Poverty. What were you going to do about it? It's all about uh, you now, brother. You've got to decide who you are. Are you a politician or you a leader? Your brother's dead. I told you not to say nothing about that. I'm sorry. It's all right. That's all right. I have another brother. This is my son, Joshua. Joshua? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, Kendi. Thank you very much for having me in your home. Oh, thank you for coming. We really admired your brother very much. Yeah. Bye. 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 What's wrong with Kennedy? What's wrong with Kennedy in the house? She's constantly late. When she is here, she spends more of her time gabbing with the other servants than anything else. Maybe you ought to just fire her then. She probably doesn't have any family to feed or any bills to pay. She probably enjoys doing our laundry. Or maybe it's just such an honor to work for the Kennedys. Do you realize that in Bedford-Stuyvesant, a family of six lives in a room half the size of this? We are so lucky. Detroit, Newark, and throughout the country, civil unrest continues to plague our inner cities as the Negro rages against the poverty in his community, striking out at all who stand in his way. Yeah, you notice when they come around. Is that Jones? We're weary of speeches. We're weary of promises that aren't kept. We keep being told to dip our buckets in the stream, but the stream's dry. The Negro people are angry, Senator. I'm angry, too, because we helped build this country, and no one is helping us. I, I, I can't make miracles happen, but I can make sure your voice is heard in Washington. Now, we've heard that before. Can I speak frankly, Senator? Man to man? You might think you being here is doing some good. But you're just another white face that's here today and you'll be gone tomorrow. We'll never see you again. And that'll be that. I can get things done. He can get things done. Always saying that. How many times? We might have taken that from your brother. But with all due respect, Senator, we won't take that from you. Not with your record. Let's get out of here. Damn it, Steve. I got sandbagged out there. I don't have to take that shit. I could be in Palm Beach smoking a cigar. 
judge said he was promised a swimming pool for the kids, which he never got. Well, let's do it. Get them a pool. But we got to do better than that. Well, if you really want to do something, we got to rebuild the neighborhoods from the ground up. If we're going to make this happen, we're going to have to do it ourselves. And the bulk of it's going to have to come from the private sector. You mean your rich friends? Well, the good thing about having rich friends is they have money. We're talking about matching funds here, not the, not the whole thing. Look, I, I got the Ford Foundation lined up. The Astors are coming in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's urban reconstruction from the ground up. This is Senator's personal initiative. Yes, well, I will, I will definitely have the senator to call you. It's our responsibility. Okay, because we you know, have to do something. Basically, we're just looking for a few very special yeah. investors. Okay, well, if we can put you on the list right now, that would be phenomenal for us. As far as I understand, you got over $5 million in contracts last year, and maybe it's time to put something back. It's, it's a powder keg waiting to explode. Right. I need people who want to do something to make a difference, to make a change. And this is the opportunity. Would you want your children to grow up in a situation? We have to like take that. action, and we have to prove that we want to follow through. Thank you. I'm hungry. Can we get Can we get some pizza? Do we have any forks? What I can't need a fork for it. Valerie, can you get some pork? Have an egg roll. An egg roll. You don't need a fork for an egg roll. I have something for you. Rather be smoking it in Palm Beach? Judge. Glad to see you could make it, Mr. Kennedy. That's Senator Kennedy. Uh, maybe the uh, stream's running a little fuller now, Judge, thanks to the Senator's well, work. You better get used to this face, Judge. You're going to be seeing a lot of it around here. Oh, good. I'm going to hold you to that. Well, just don't blame me for things I had nothing to do with. Blame me for things I could have fixed but didn't make the effort. It's a start, and that's all. And that day is today. And we have one man in particular. Senator, you've done a great Senator thing. Robert F. Kennedy. Greater than you know. This is just the kind of thing your brother would have done. Remind me again why the junior senator from New York is dragging his ass all the way out to California? Farm worker strike, Cesar Chavez. We have to break you out nationally if you're going to run in 72. You still think I'll be here in 72? Bob. It also wouldn't hurt to face down this anti-union thing. I'm not anti-union. I think Jimmy Hoffa would beg to differ. Adam. Mm. Hoffa was a crook. Can I get another coffee? Cesar Chavez. What's his angle? Well, he's the, uh... Martin Luther King of the Latinos. What's his angle? What's he want? The migrant farm workers slave in the hot sun for 16 hours a day. With no living wages, no health care benefits, housing. Uh, what's he want for himself? Nothing. The guy's a real thing. Um, Bob, what? The boycott. Chavez is asking people not to eat California grapes. Really? <laughs> we will not have the same problems here that they have had in other places. We've arrested the worst of them and have photographs on file of 5,000 other potential troublemakers. How, uh, uh, how do you determine if uh, someone is a potential troublemaker? The uh, color of his skin? <laughs> 